I, I love the premise of this show. Smart people talking about dumb shit. I think it's dumb people talking about smart shit. Oh, we go where we're not supposed to go, baby. The Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Yep, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots, and this week's episode of the Brilliant Idiots Podcast is brought to you by us. We don't have any pre roll Okay. So we can just start the show. Oh, Shout out Adidas. Salute to Adidas, man. Even though I'm wearing all Puma. I got Puma sneakers on. But uh, salute to uh, Adidas. Adidas. <laughs> all right, so what happened? Adidas. I'm at Birdie Man. Alex at Birdie Man. I get out of Birdie Man. I get the first text message I come in from my friend Julie that goes, what did Charlemagne do? I go, oh, no. And then it's Kanye West's yeah. thing where he just goes, Charlemagne and Chris Jenner. I don't know. He just we get your popcorn ready. Yeah. I, I don't know what Kanye was talking about. I have no idea. But he does that all the time. Yeah. Like whenever he goes into his rant modes on Instagram, yeah. somehow or another, yeah. my name is gonna come up yeah. in the rant. Yeah. Which is interesting. You know what I mean? I actually um this was a while a few weeks ago. Cause like me and Kanye go back and forth, right? He'll call me about something. I won't agree. Well, and he's, he said this on his interview with Jason Lee on Hollywood Unlocked. We'll argue, we'll curse at each other, blah, blah, yeah. blah. But I did, uh, I reached out to him a few weeks ago just to see how he was doing. Yeah. You know, um, I didn't hear back because he changes his number all the time. But I let his people know, like, yo, man, tell him I'm sending him positive energy, whatever, whatever. But I don't know where that came from, yeah. nor, nor do I care. But it made it seem like you were talking to Chris Jenner or something. Like he that. talks about me like I'm one of the elites. It's actually yeah. kind of flattering, bro. Yeah. Like it's always the Clintons, <laughs> Charlemagne, <laughs> and the Jenners. Yo, it's really, I'm telling you, man, sometimes you don't understand how people perceive you. But I'm like, damn, if I'm one of the elites, yeah. are they are they the elites? Would they be considered an elite? I mean, you're an elite. Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm talking about like, can get your cat elite. Like <laughs> <laughs> I think you know way more people that can get people got than the elites. Yeah, but get you got and nobody knows. Ah, like make it look is, like an accident. Like this is yeah. oh, <laughs> that's different. He I had a heart attack. I got yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Come on, now. We talk, the people we talking about. Come on, no, uh, that's hey, different. Hey, no, that's no. CBC, bro. You know what that CBC is? What is it? I ain't talking about the Congressional Black Caucus. I'm talking about that. Clinton body count. Oh, like Clinton body count. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, no, but that's that's how you know you elite because when the people you beef with, they don't uh, get killed, they kill themselves. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. That's or, or, or yeah. you make it look like that. The, well, that's what I meant. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't think they actually <laughs> yeah. kill themselves. Like, no, but I'm serious. You can be that elite too where somebody's like, yeah. I might as well. Like, yeah. like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like since my, like, you, you probably should, bro. Yo, gangsters, take note. <laughs> <laughs> take note. Like, <laughs> cut it with the drive-bys. It got to be drive-by heart attack. You know what I mean? So, then we drove by pretty quick, and then he just grabbed his heart. And then he just went down. Somebody had a heart attack just thinking about what you might <laughs> yeah, do to them. Fact. You know what I mean? Seriously. Yo, that's a great point, though. That's next level. The elites don't kill people. Their enemies die. They, they jump die. off of buildings. That's right. They have, That's uh, right. you know, an aneurysm. I read they get something lost. In, in, in Russia, there's been eight businessmen over the last six months who have either committed suicide or just had like some random accident and i'm yeah. like really yeah <laughs> like really yeah. since january i'm yeah. like really yeah i like, guess you really believe that yeah but hey when you control the press this is what it. I said happened. <laughs> yeah, yeah this, is, this is true. This is true, bro. I, I really don't know what's going on with Kanye. I don't know what the stuff is with Adidas. Um, what is the thing? Adidas wants to make a sneaker like one of his designs, but... And I can understand that. Without if his approval, I guess? Yeah. If you if you created a design, which we know Yeezy has been very instrumental in doing as far as we know, if he's, if he's created these designs, mm -hmm. and then, you know, Adidas is coming in like, creating sneakers with the same design. Mm -hmm. I don't know how that happens unless they contractually are able to do that. I mean, I would imagine they're contractually able to That's do it. That's what I would think. Of course. Now, listen, I don't know the contract, but I imagine they're contractually able to do it. But he doesn't like that. So he's using public scrutiny and shame. Yeah. And the reality is, is like sneakers are hype. Yeah. None of these sneakers are so high performance. Like yeah. sneakers have become so good that like you can run in pretty much anything. You'll be okay. You can play basketball in pretty much anything. You'll be okay. Yeah. So now it's all about hype and you hire Kanye for hype, right? 
So if Kanye shuts down the hype on a sneaker and calls it a knockoff Yeezy, who the fuck is buying that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I mean, the thing about Yeezy, and I salute Yeezy because what Yeezy has, what, what Kanye has built with Yeezy is incredible. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, I think they generated like $1.3 billion for Adidas last Unbelievable. year. But Adidas is a $25 billion company. Like, Adidas is the this, this sneaker and apparel line, a company of soccer, bro. Yeah. The world's biggest sport. Like, yeah, all yeah, the yeah. biggest football players in yeah. the world are, are with Adidas. Like, once again, they're a $25 billion company. Not yep. saying that Kanye didn't bring them so much cultural relev- relevancy for a certain audience. He for absolutely sure. positively did. For sure. But they'll be okay. They're going to be okay. But, like, they weren't popping in America. Like, I think I think Kanye made Adidas really pop in America. <laughs> they haven't been popping in America since Run DMC, bro. I mean, but we never stopped wearing... I mean, at least for me, I never stopped wearing the shell toes and the Adidas. You're basketball. 70 years old. That's right. <laughs> You're 70 years old, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I never that's stopped. your generation. It is. I never stopped wearing... A one, wearing, a two. That's right. <laughs> My Adidas. I never stopped wearing the shell toes and the track suits. But I do, I do agree. Kanye absolutely positively made Adidas culturally relevant to a certain generation, yeah. a certain demographic. But it's going to be interesting to see how this plays all out. plays out. Uh, yeah, it, it's just an interesting strategy. It's like... Is it, though? Well, I, I think it's... I mean, you saw Dave Chappelle do it with uh, Netflix, I think. Didn't or do can, it like Comedy this. Central. It's, it, well... The approaches are different. Dave was on stage. Dave actually said, may I please have my <laughs> whatever back after explaining his position. Right. You know... Direct- uh, yeah, he 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 explained his position, yeah. and then he told people not to watch it. Yeah. And what Kanye is basically doing is saying, "We're not buying that. We're not wearing that. That's not a Yeezy. That's a fake Yeezy." Which yeah. is, in effect, the, the you know basically saying, "Hey, don't buy it." And at the end of the day, if Adidas is putting out a sneaker that people aren't going to buy, they just shell it. So he has a lot of power. I ain't gonna lie, that orange and yellow shit that they keep posting with the X over it. You like it? That shit look kind of fire. Oh, God, I probably bro. wouldn't get it because it's not a Yeezy. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> but the design it's of the, it it's and the, the colorway kind of fire. Yeah. It's the, exactly. It's the Chrysler 300. Yeezy but is the Phantom. The Chrysler 300. Because they couldn't afford the Phantom. There you go. <laughs> I, I, I just wonder if it's like, well, I think Kanye has a percentage of the company, right? Didn't they give him like a huge. Uh, I think it's a Royal. He gets like 15%. Royalty on like Yeezy that. itself, on or just, just Yeezy, not Adidas. On Yeezy, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, Yeezy okay. is a Yeezy is a subsidiary inside of Adidas. Adidas, but I mean, I from I think the number is fifteen percent. I could be wrong, so that means Adidas is the other eighty five. But Adidas is doing everything else. They're mm. doing the manufacturing. They're doing the distribution. You know, they're doing the promotion, the marketing. Even though there's probably no bigger marketing than Kanye just posting on his instagram page you know what i mean yeah like I, I don't know i just don't know how it plays out um it is weird though because it's one of those situations where it's like you took the bag bro you wanted the money you took the money and then it became incredibly <sighs> successful and now you're crying yeah and it's just like you you took the bag and then I, i'm not 100 percent certain but i imagine that when you sell your IP and you sell your product. So Adidas definitely owns the IP, which is why they're able to continue to, to do it. the colorways exactly. and continue to redistribute other brands, other sneakers that he's already done. I'm yeah. sure they own the IP. And that's what you give up when you agree f- to take the bag and you got a great bag and that deal was brilliant the way he did it. And I think it made him a billionaire. It's still brilliant. And it's still br- and he still gets to make his stuff, but like, yeah. that is the cost of doing that deal. If you wanted to do it by yourself and do all the infrastructure and everything by yourself, Maybe you couldn't have. Maybe you couldn't have. Maybe, I mean, I think he maybe tried before when he was earlier in fashion and wasn't as successful. Yeah. There's no question now he probably could be because he's had such immense success. But that is the cost of the deal. It's kind of annoying. You keep seeing this happen over and over again where people take the bag and then they complain about the the rules that come with the bag. And the problem I have with that, because you're absolutely right, is that nobody seems to uh, have like consistency, even with how we perceive these things. Mm. I'm, I, I remember everything. So I remember when there was the rants and the raves about, I need infrastructure. Yeah, I yeah. need somebody to help yeah. me design. Yeah. And Adidas is where you chose to go. You so chose rules. You cho- and, and by the way, even if you didn't choose those rules, you can negotiate your rules. You're still Kanye at the end of the day. Yes. You're Kanye. So, a lot of this stuff that, you know, you might be complaining about now, I feel like you could have probably could have negotiated in the beginning. You could have went back and negotiated after. Like once it's like you're an athlete, right? Yeah. You're with a team. You know, you're going to have to resign. They would rather resign you earlier if they know you're a fucking superstar. Ooh, that's a good analogy because it's like a 
what he's doing now is kind of like what NFL players do because he's in, he's under contract. I think until I think I read 2026. So he's like, no, I need to be renegotiating now. I see how much money, how much motherfucking money y'all making. So I'm gonna hold out. And and to be honest with you, I understand his perspective. And if I'm someone who wears Yeezys, yeah. I, w- I want what Kanye wants because you're protecting. I want what Ye wants. <laughs> Is that a thing? <laughs> oh no, it's Drake. I, I want what Kyler says. I want what I like. What Drake likes. Oh, I like what Drake likes. <laughs> but uh, I'm I'm so old. I'm like, is that a thing? <laughs> 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 no. I guess like if I wear Yeezys, right? Mm-hmm. I don't want a fake Yeezy floating around by the same company because it's gonna devalue my Yeezys. Like every time I see like a Team Jordan, yeah. That kind of looks like a Jordan. You're like, why do we even have this around? Like, you have a Walmart version of the sneaker that, like, we all love and cherish. That's and that's disrespectful to Kanye because it's like that means Adidas doesn't look at Kanye. It doesn't look at Yeezy as a luxury brand. Well, they do, and they're trying to create the the what is the opposite, the of, cheaper version. They are, and they're trying to use the equity that he's built, and that's why you. But would purchase. they ever do that to a if it was a, a luxury brand? You think they'd make a knock? You think Gucci would make a knockoff Gucci? I mean, Lexus got Toyota. Usually uh, most brands have yeah, like a luxury yeah, 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 and yeah, then yeah. A, a mid-level. Yeah. I mean, Team Jordan got Team Jordan. Yeah. You know, I'm sure there's a version with like Nike and then just regular. Yeah. And that's a really smart thing. It's like you use the equity of that that one that's hard to buy and it's hard to get. And it sells out everywhere. And then you have a more accessible version of it. Yeah. It's, it's a great business. But I can also see as someone who just wants a luxury brand, like if you just had Gucci, you're not going to have Gucci regular. Yeah, Gucci you, regular. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I see, I see why he's frustrated, but you also took the deal. You took the you deal, You wasn't frustrated man. when you got a billion dollars in your fucking bank. And that's my thing, too. Like, you know, I'm, I'm a, everybody, we, we always going to have respect for Kanye and the things he's done in music and the things he's done in fashion. But it's like, man, when you're, when you're, when you're good, when Kanye is good, slavery, was a choice. Uh, we were too hung up on race. <laughs> you know, we shouldn't just always be so focused on race. Boy, but when things don't go right for Kanye. Oof. Oh, now all of a sudden he's so oppressed and he's so marginalized. Do you know what I mean? And the white man is doing him wrong. And now you're talking to your wife and you're saying things like, uh, why do you get to have all the say so? Because you're half white. Well, oh, guess what, yeah. man? Guess what? Marrying half white women is a choice. Yeah. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> okay. That is just the reality of the situation. Do we need Dr. Umar to speak on this? Do, do we need Dr. Umar to have a conversation with our good brother Kanye? Man? I would, I would uh, love for you to moderate that. <laughs> I would love nothing more than for you By to the way, moderate. Go. One question is a moderator. Okay. Dr. Umar Johnson. Yeah. Could yeah. you please explain to our good brother Kanye West why marrying half white women is a choice? I am totally against it, and I want to make sure you understand why. Mm-hmm. It's not because <laughs> <laughs> cut it out, Envy. I just, I want, we have a name for it. Okay. The snow bunny crisis. Okay. I am against the snow bunny crisis. And I want your white listeners to understand. Because people be trying to say stuff like, uh, He's the black Hitler. I'm not the black Hitler. I am I am in no way interested in hurting or harming the life of any human. White, Asian, Chinese. I believe in respecting everybody. Mm-hmm. The reason I'm against interracial marriage in Vian Charlemagne is because marriage is an economic contract. Most women do not marry down in status. They marry up. Have you ever seen a rich white woman marry a broke ass black man? No, you have not. And you never will. Because marriage ain't about love, it's not colorblind, and it is totally economic. <laughs> this Listen. man has been cursed by the snow bunnies. <laughs> mm. There's nothing we could do to save him. Yeah, it's just cr- And listen, he, do- it, he does it every time. And I don't even want to say people fall for it. People just buy into it. Yeah. Like, he's got everybody posting like it's a black square. <laughs> you know, for real. Remember, remember, when, remember, remember when everybody was posting the black square? Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like everybody's posting that Adidas X'd out. Oh, like is that a thing now? Yes. Oh wow. I didn't Everybody was doing it yesterday. So it's like, listen, yeah. man, I if they did steal his idea. Well, it's not stealing. It's not it's stealing. Not exactly. That's that's the key. I don't know if it is though. Th- we have to look into that. I gotta look I into it. I cannot believe. Yeah. I truly cannot believe the amount of decisions that you have to go through in order to put something in production 
and then the contact with the factory yes. and then getting the blanks made and the yes. materials ready and yes. then processing all of it, especially with all the, what is it called? Like, um, uh, you know, we have the problems getting things. Uh, oh, no, supply, supply chain, supply chain, yeah. everything like making sure all that's good, getting them into yeah. production. I cannot believe that they would just overlook a fact that they're not allowed to do it. Yeah. And I don't think a multi-billion dollar company would do that because they know that's an easy lawsuit. It's not like Kanye is broke. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Kanye could sue the shit out of Adidas if he wanted to, if oh. they were doing something that yeah. wasn't, uh, you know, in the contract. Here's a question I have. I thought that Kanye had 15% of the whole company. I didn't realize it was a Yeezy loyalty thing because I mean, could, I could be wrong. I thought I thought it was that he gets 50% of the royalties. Can you look that up, Alex? Maybe I thought it was because he got... And maybe he gets it because if he gets a percentage of the whole company, I bet the company's thinking, why is this guy mad? You're going to get a piece of every one of these fake Yeezys I, we I, put out. I did see him pull... <laughs> no, it's not that. He don't get none of that money. But if he did, yeah, I, yeah, if yeah. he did, that's what I thought. I thought he got a piece of Adidas. No, no. I think it's just for the Yeezy brand. So under the partnership, uh, Kanye retains 100% ownership of the Yeezy brand with full creative control over Oh, word. See that? So he owns the IP then? Yeah. Where you got that from? Say your sources. I mean, uh, Google. Google? <laughs> <laughs> it's not... They don't have a website or nothing? Uh, Interesting. That's a great deal then. So listen, if that's the case, he has every right to be mad. Well, he has 100% ownership of the Yeezy brand. Yep. Ah, the Mouse sneakers said, are... Mouse, yeah. Mouse, get on the mic, Mouse. Why, why you got to pause, man? Show love to your brother. <laughs> Why you got to <laughs> pause, man? That shouldn't be a pause. Nah. <laughs> you said the sneakers. So the sneakers. So the sneakers that we're talking about. Uh -huh. So this. So he started complaining when the when when Adidas went crazy and they re did the 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 restock a few months ago and then they was releasing like new colorways. New colorways. Like the he didn't approve. They been doing the sandals. Them, yeah. So, so that's not Yeezy, right? The what is that like? Y Z Y oh, yeah. like. That's not Yeezy. Okay. That's a that's the Yeezy sneaker under Adidas. We know that. Yeah. The Yeezy brand is those clothes, yeah. like the 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 paper mache clothes looking like shit. Like yeah. That, but but so aren't the sneakers owns, aren't it sneakers Yeezy? Those are that's the Yeezy sneaker for Adidas, but it's not. So hold under on, like Yeezy. the seven fifties and all that, aren't you? That's Adidas. I don't believe that. No, 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 I hundred percent believe really? that. Really? Yeah, yeah. And the, so you mean to tell me all Kanye West sneakers are not with Adidas? They are with Adidas. Yes. But those aren't, that's not covered underneath the Yeezy. Hold on, I thought the knockoffs weren't under Yeezy. Nah, if you go, if you go look at the Yeezy site, if you go look at the Yeezy site, or if you like go on stock as well, yeah. you're looking for Yeezy, is you're going to pull up a whole different thing than those sneakers that were just released gotcha. with all the new colorways and that he's complaining about. Yeah. So that's the difference. Yeah, I'm not. So if he owns 100% of Yeezy, yeah, they, they can't do anything with that. Oh, you talking about YZY. He can't do nothing with Boom. Okay. They can't do anything with that. Got you, got you, got you. Got you, got you, got you. Y E E Z Y, okay. the sneaker, everything that's sneaker that comes on that, that's Adidas. Okay. And that's pe that's gotcha. pretty much what we've all been saying. Like, you signed that deal. You signed a you deal, signed a deal bro. bro. I'm yeah. tired of this shit. You signed a deal. You know, why don't you, why don't you boss up and buy yourself out of it? Yo? <laughs> why don't you boss up? And Listen, buy yourself back. He can't <laughs> buy yourself back. Is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I get what you. Everything Shoji's you saying is true. But you know, like you said, if you wanted infrastructure, and it was infrastructure you didn't have, and you do a deal with a company that gives you that kind of infrastructure, uh, you know what I mean. I mean, I guess at this point, it's all you can do is get people to repost you on, um, you know, social I think, media. And I think that's the waste. That's the waste, right? Like you could use that. I mean, like you're really going through shit. I'm buying them shits, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I told you them orange. I'm buying listen, them. Not shits. orange, ones, that, bro. No, 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 them no, shit no, look no, alright, no, mouse. No, no, no. They, they not Yeezys though. They, uh, if they were Yeezys, oh, you talking about the laces? <laughs> Hold on, let me show you these. Show me the shit. The, the laces wave runners are crazy. Hold on, let me show you these. These are the ones I'm talking about. You know the ones that they, everybody kept exactly what you're talking about with the lace. They put the so initially the sneaker doesn't have a lace. Adidas released a new version with the actual laces going through, and that's crazy. Yes. Hold on, let me see that. This right here. These right. Hold it looks on. like like it looks like a Batman. Uh, like one of those Batman these. cards. Let me see. Yeah, that's terrible. Let you don't see. like these? Nah, that's terrible. Let me see that shit. 
If them shit was <laughs> Jeezy's, look, look, look at Drake. God, dude. Bro, Halloween bro. coming too, bro? <laughs> yo, the black and orange yo, colorway? Bro, Halloween yeah, coming? Yeah. What? Are you kidding me yo, right now? Yeah, but no, no, listen, the Halloween's? Yeah, but Sean. The Halloween's? Listen, the Halloween's? You wouldn't wear the Halloween's? I wouldn't wear a heartbeat, bro. Those shit is fire. Nah, these bro. are fire, dude. Fire. Those are fire. Bro, you can, listen, you can wear those with Kanye's merch. Oh, and be a straight yeah. fly zombie. Yes. <laughs> you yes, know what dude. I'm saying? Yo, you that, be a yo, fly so fire, zombie bro. for Halloween. Now, bro. these are really fire if you think about it. You don't bro. like the Halloween? Why do you have to think about it? If it's not fire, <laughs> you have to think no, about it. Some shit, <laughs> you know, like, you, like, you know, like, yo, it's really fire if, you, guys, if for, you think about these it. These are for intellectuals, bro. <laughs> these are, it's, a, <laughs> it's for intellectuals, bro. This is, <laughs> listen, listen this, is, this is more European. A lot of Americans don't get this shit, but this shit right here, bro. Fire. I live in America. I'm telling you, them shit is Right on, on time for Halloween, yo. Black and orange yeah, colorway, yeah, bro. Yeah, Halloween on, right bro. around the Jones corner. Witness, I don't celebrate. I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, no, I don't. I keep showing fire. Me. Good. This shit is straight like, Euro. This it looks is like Euro fire. style. It looks like somebody. Fire. How can I be homophobic? <laughs> what? <laughs> by the way, by the way, Yeezy. I mean, Adidas is slipping by not. Letting these be a Yeezy though. These shit were a Yeezy. <laughs> for he, he don't want it. He said nah. <laughs> yeah, but his he's nah, not. I don't, I don't think. I don't think. That, I don't think it's not that he doesn't want it. I think it's just the fact that he feels like, um, yo, y'all biting my shit, which I get. No, but I think he's jealous that they improved it. Explain, I think. Explain. I think. I think that they made a wow. more fire sneaker. And he's and he's trying to shut it down. Now, how do we know Kanye's <laughs> team and him didn't design this? And this is all a it PR is spin. His design. Look at that and look at the other sneak. Look at the, I, I don't wear Adidas, but the fucking, those slippers that just came out. They Love came them. out of, right. That's all that is. They just brought it together and put a lace through it. Yep. And they that's needed the, a the lace. the same exact sneak. <laughs> that's what they needed, bro. I hated the fact and that they, they, put a, and they put a, It looks like, bro, I'm not that right, sure. It looks like they just put a, <laughs> it looks like they put a hard This guy, this guy, this guy. I ain't even no, think about crazy, that, bro. bro. Yeah. Yo, you right. Yeah. This is God. too, Stupid. This is two Yeezy sandals welded together, bro. And I don't know if they put a hard sole at the, at the bottom. This is real, bro. Wow. Wow, bro. I stand with Ye on this one, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, wow. You and Chris Jenner, bro. Wow. Me and Chris Jenner. Me and Chris Jenner stand with Ye. I don't, listen, man, I hope Kanye gets... Like like any creative, I hope Kanye gets what he deserves. Send him healing if energy. If he deserves it. And I send, send him healing energy. Send him healing energy. I ain't gonna lie, I used to get wild Yeezys. I know I got cut off that goddamn. Yeah, uh, man, all that Pete Davis is support. That's right, I'm gonna still support my guy. Now you don't got no Yeezys. Well, and now you looking... Uh, that's what my body knockoffs. Now you're back with Puma? <laughs> now you're back nah, with Puma? Oh, nah, nah. Let me tell you something. What all jokes aside, <laughs> all jokes aside, the reason I love Puma and the reason I love Yeezy yeah. is because you got 40 plus year old people designing these shit. This shit is comfortable, bro. Yeah. They're thinking about us 40 something. But how old are the people sewing it together if you combine those <laughs> ages? Ooh, that's a median age me of see. 16. Yeah, exactly. Six, <laughs> six, <laughs> let me see. Six, <laughs> six eight year olds. Yeah. That's 48, that's eight people, right? <laughs> you got to do, do the median average. <laughs> <laughs> that's a 16. <laughs> you, if you're proud of yourself, you're Come proud of yourself. On, Don't nobody want to have that conversation, though. What? You start having that conversation about child label everybody get quiet mm -hmm. you know what I mean because then we start realizing all our own hypocrisy that's right you know what you're not get quiet we just turn the music up on our phone yeah, exactly and guess who's making that exactly Kanye. this shit is crazy <laughs> Wait, who's making it who's making the phone <laughs> oh <laughs> shit salute to Kanye I hope he gets uh, trying to get a, trying to get a writing job with Andrew <laughs> yeah <laughs> I hope he gets everything he deserves but I do feel like I, I do feel I, I, how do you feel about this show how do you what? feel about you know just Interracial relationships. I, be <laughs> I believe in them. What? I believe in them. Do you really? Why is that a wild question? I believe in inter do you, interracial. Do you really? Why I'm is the that product of an interracial yeah. relationship? No, 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 you're not. Interracial? I'm Scottish. With with that's an ethnicity, buddy. Your race is white. No, nah, Scottish. If two white people got together. And Scottish made you. are the Africans of Europe, bro. Okay. <laughs> but they're not the Africans of Africa. No, nah, because we're not in Africa, but we're African. We're, we're all African. In our soul, we're African. We're they, all they African. You nigga. Nobody in Scotland. They have other words for us. But it's but look at what we do. We invented fried chicken in Europe. Did you know that? You invented it? Scottish oh, people up. invented shut fried chicken. Shut up. No, shut up. No, 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 I know you're going. No, no, shut up. No, no, no. Look at fried chicken right there. Look at fried chicken right there. How do you invent somewhere based on your region? Nah, I invented it. 
in Scottish. No, we invented it before America. We invented it before y'all. Before I, us? Yes, yes, I lost this one. I lost this yo, one. Trust we me, invented fried chicken, right? <laughs> we had fried no, on the table. Yo, 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 Why you don't know the origins of fried chicken? Yo, yo, yo. yo. This guy's crazy, dude. This guy's crazy. We are, we are the Africans of Europe, bro. Why, why are the Africans of Europe? We invented fried chicken. All right, number one. Uh, we wear face paint and skirts and shit. Did Africans invent fried chicken? African Americans did. African Americans, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did that's we invent what I'm fried saying. chicken? I don't think we invented it. No, we didn't. No, no, that's not true. We did. No, no, we did because nor in, um right after <laughs> we couldn't like, have at, in the beginning it. stages of I think right after slavery or beginning of segregation. I don't remember what, but we used they used to sell fried chicken dishes time to out. make money. Time to fuck. Where do you think y'all learned how to do that? Stop. Everybody stop. <laughs> From Scottish stop. people. Stop. 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 <laughs> see how they silence us? I'm see how they silence you. minorities? No, I'm going to oppress you. You see how they no, silence let me, let me minorities, you. bro? You just said... No, no, no. Huh? Charlemagne just said, yeah. I don't know if it was... <laughs> I don't know if it was at the beginning of slavery. No, I said the end the of begin- slavery or the beginning of segregation. That they just started selling... They had a fried chicken. Some, some, a white person invented. It was pretty known like a white person had invented. I'm not chicken. giving that to Colonel Sanders, bro. Colonel Sanders, know. Scottish, bro. I didn't say they made it no. taste good, but they had to show the slaves how to make it. That's, That's not, not true. true. Where the fuck they was frying chicken at in Africa? What you mean? <laughs> where were you? Ge- where were you deep frying chicken? But they might have learned that here in America. From who? Scottish people. Themselves. Haters? I'm agreeing with Andrew, unfortunately. <laughs> why, can, you, why, but, why can we no, not no, invent I'm not, things, I don't know bro. who Scottish but, but people, you, white people invite. But you know, Al, can you look up a Zulu warrior and okay. then put it next to Braveheart and tell me that there's a difference? <laughs> but do you know the reason? Look up, look up a Zulu warrior <laughs> when he's ready to get busy. Listen. When he's ready to Taylor, knock if you bark or whatever. Taylor, Google the origins <laughs> of fried chicken in America. Because okay. you know the reason that they used to use chicken because chicken was a cheap meat. I get yeah. it, but to fry. Chicken was a cheap meat. See how y'all play us, bro? What? That's a Delicacy to us. I mean, it's a delicacy to me too, but at the time. No, but now it's cheap meat. Pull it up. Fucking Adidas Yeezy Pull it up. (laughs) (laughs) Our cuisine, bro. (laughs) I'm tired of this treatment, man. Okay. Uh, (laughs) There we go. uh, See, look, this. The almost for frying and braising chicken. From yeah, right their there. Boom. Cuisines. See, American fried chicken has its origins in slavery. They used to sell fried chicken dinners to make money. Parts of the animals that nobody that. wanted. Just, to, yeah, I'm not food. arguing. I'm saying, but Scottish people did. They have to fry that. Somebody had to teach them. Cook, Google what fried chicken <laughs> invented in USA. Did. I refuse to believe Scotland that white people <laughs> ever taught black people how to fry. <laughs> Scotland did. Scotland did is nuts. See, look, American style fried chicken. American style. Look. Started in the American South. Some people think the recipe came from Scottish immigrants. Some people being the Schultzes. However, the Schultzes? many believe Wait, it that? was bought from Africa. <laughs> what is that? Let me explain to y'all how, how Scottish people invented stepping. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Scottish people invented stepping. Scottish people invented the cha-cha slide. The, all of that. I'm not, Even this shit right here, this shit. I'm not going to lie. Scottish people invented tap dancing too. Oh, Look shit. up tap dancing. Oh, oh, Wait, shit. Look up tap dancing. Oh, Scottish shit. people invented that Hold on. Shit. Wait, what's up? Michael Flatley. Michael Flatley. So Scottish people. Michael Flatley. Scottish People have fried chicken and tap dancing? Yes. Y'all the, the, the original dance. coons, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they call us scoons, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you. We are scoons, bro. <laughs> Defend it. Come on now. Defend it, Andrew Shaw. Charlotte did. Freedom. Look, Charlotte. We invented freedom. Look, we invented Schultz. freedom. Defend the show is hard. Oh, Defend the show is hard. Yeah. But that is for Yo, you like that's my man. We invented freedom, oh. son. He's not racist. When he danced and that little side hair came out, that was an Irish dance. No, but the side no, that's head. a dreadlock. No, when that we side invented head dropped. dreadlocks. Go look at go look and see if we didn't invent dreadlocks. Why are you pointing at Alex? Go look and see, because he got the computer. Go, go look and see if Scottish people didn't invent dreadlocks. Look up oh, Braveheart. Man. Tell me Mel Gibson. Rowdy didn't have Rebel dreadlocks. got his name from a Scottish person. Wh- how? Rowdy Roddy, 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 Roddy Piper, Piper, bro. I, I know Roddy Roddy, Roddy Piper was Irish. Oh. Come on, man. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, oh, we all the same, y'all? Yes. <laughs> Yes. Wow, bro. How the tables uh, turn. Oh, my God, How the God, tables have man. turned. <laughs> Listen, this is the Brilliant Idiots Podcast, <laughs> okay? Uh, what else we got, Taylor? Oh. Yeah, thanks. What? What happened? What else did they invent? The TV. Y'all like TV? Where do you see that? I don't even know. I don't even know what any of that shit is. Listen. Nothing I, that anybody uses. Let's the talk. steam hammer? You don't got a gun? <laughs> 
That's no. what that is? No, no, yeah. no. Why are you listening to him? No, <laughs> yeah. no fucking Yo, know, man. Europe, Steam Hammer. That's not a gun. Yeah. Really made dreadlocks, though. <laughs> Say what? Europeans really were the earliest civilizations with dreadlocks. Of course we did, bro. Get the fuck that out of here. That just mean they had you can Google anything. <laughs> no, just Put, say it. Well, pull it up why, there. Why I need to see it for myself. Nasty I didn't hair, bro. Just see, I got rid of mine. invented dreadlocks. Damn, I got to look up. So we might have more in common with the Scottish than anything. I'm telling you, bro. All I'm hearing is that there was a lot of black people in the Scottish region. That's exactly it. That's what I'm here. Bro, and you black, bro. No, 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 no. I've you been no, no. told you. No, no. I'm no, African, no. bro. No, I'm, I'm, no. I'm white African. You're white. I'm North African. <laughs> white African. Yo, you should do Post Malone over. Yeah, white, white African. African. White African. <laughs> Hold on. Look at, oh, Bob Marley was what? Scottish. Part Scottish. Some of the earliest depictions. Thank you. That's where he got his soul from. They what? <laughs> we invented. We invented reggae, bro. Hold on, Y'all Bob, put the gay in reggae. Bob, Bob Molly was really Scottish. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We put the ra. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Bob, Yo, hold on. Bob Molly was really part Scottish. Yes, bro. No, no he, I knew he was half white or something. Like, type. That. Go, go to where the dreadlocks see, originally see come where from. He's from. Bu- 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 See where he's from, You click bro. that one, no, click the first one where people also ask. Yo, we did- Ben hated the police. I shot the sheriff. <laughs> Who do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the first police. <laughs> the first, I knew that. The first what? police was Scottish. Ancient Egypt is the true birthplace of dreadlocks. Say again? Yeah, no, 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 say it again. You heard it the first three times. <laughs> Wait, what, what, what? Because so many people are saying that the first police were what? The first police were Scottish. Exactly. Keep your enemies close. The first police were not Scottish. <laughs> yes, they were. No, they weren't. Yes, they were. The first police were slave patrols in Virginia and Which the Carolinas. were Scottish people. Which were Scottish people. They Keep were? your enemies close and your yeah. enemies closer. I didn't know they, that. They flew them over. <laughs> what is that saying? <laughs> Keep your friends closer, your enemies closer. <laughs> they bust he them. was out there with the homies like, yo, go, 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 go to the north. No, y'all wasn't doing that. Yes, we were, bro. You know the fuck y'all was? Y'all was bringing us back. No, we weren't. Yeah, yeah was, slave patrols. Yeah. That's what they, that, was they, that was their job. Not they're, only they're, the English ones, the Scottish the word, ones were like, the get word there, patrol bro. is actually Scottish. No, it's not. For police. No, 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 <laughs> we, no. it's not. Patrol is what you put in cars to make no, it go. No, that's patrol. Oh, my God. Yeah. Listen. Also, also been a bunch of <laughs> Listen, we're going to pay some bills, <laughs> and we're going to come back yep. and talk about Tiffany Haddish. And Aerie Spears. Yo. Mm. Do you want to go there? Let's oh go there. God, bro. Uh, let's pay this bill real quick, though. Ridge Wallet. Salute the Ridge Wallet. This episode is brought to you by Ridge Wallet. The Ridge Wallet holds up to 12 cards plus room for cash. There's over 30 colors and styles, including the Hennessy Performance, the Carbon Fiber, and Burnt Titanium. The wallets have over 50,000 five-star reviews. The durable material means each wallet comes with a lifetime warranty. The Ridge team is so confident that you'll like it that they'll let you test drive it for 45 days. You can send it back for a full refund if you don't love it. It's made with RFID blocking technology that protects you from digital pit pockets. And here's a special bonus for our listeners. With every dollar spent on the website before September 30th, you'll be entered to win a brand new upgraded Ford Bronco R75 grand if you prefer cash. When it will be announced in October to get your Ridge wallet and to enter for a chance to win a Ford Bronco, go to HTTPS backslash backslash Ridge.com backslash idiots. Use coupon code idiots to enter. Let's get back to the show. Now I want everybody to take a deep breath, a nice woosa. Come on. Woosa. Woosa. Tiffany Haddish, Aerie Spears. Bro, I don't even... What are the thoughts? I don't think Tiffany Haddish should be wrapped up in this. Okay. <sighs> I've seen the clip, yeah. I don't think Tiffany Haddish should be wrapped up in this. I've been saw this video I think years get, ago. That's what I'm saying. This is old. This isn't Yeah, new. I saw this video years ago. It was on Funny or Die Year. I mean, I saw it... I literally saw it like years ago. It was like 2013, 2014. But show us, go. Oh, I, I really want to hear your perspective as a comedian. <laughs> Cut it out, man. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Come on, yo. Come on, man. <laughs> what about it? Wh- which one? I only saw one. Road Tripper? What was the movie she was No, in? man. The sketch with Whatever, Harry Spears. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I saw that shit, man. What'd you think? Um... Not funny enough for how gross. Wasn't funny. That's it. Wasn't funny. We know that. Yeah. I never thought it was funny when I saw it. Which way is why back it, in the day. no one paid any mind to it back then. No, that's not the only reason nobody paid any mind to it. The other reason nobody paid any mind to it because whether people want to admit it or not, and nobody does because nobody wants to be canceled. That kind of content was so the norm. Mm-hmm. From movies to television to sketches for whatever reason. To where they went. 
Yes. That was a little extra. No, it was not. I can name, I can tell you. By the way, I'm not going to do that. If, if y'all want to cancel people, you do your own fucking homework. Okay? But I can point to so many movies that had scenes like that. I mean, I think I'll give y'all one. Yeah, what's a movie? Because it's a, it's a movie. Nicole Kidman in Birth. In that movie, she thought that her husband was reincarnated yeah. as a 10-year-old. Yeah. Uh -huh. There's a whole scene with them in the tub together and, you know, throughout the movie, she's talking to him sexually, right? Yeah. And it's like, Back And I had to look this up because I'm like, yo, there had to be backlash for this back in the day. And it was. There just wasn't no internet. You know what I mean? And back then, the movie studio stood next to Nicole and said, no, this is art. Well, yeah, because white woman. Like, that that wasn't going... Like, there wasn't... When you said that, I was like, oh, I never heard of it. But when you started playing, I'm like, yeah, there was no... It's Nicole kid. I think there's... I think there's also, like, female to male pedophilia isn't looked at as bad. Mm, I think if they were black, it would be different. I think if that I'm not saying that yeah. that's not the case, but I think that like when a girl does something oh. to a, oh, yeah, it's a little less because it's a it's a it's a male. It's a little. It's like yeah. a female teacher fucks a student. Nobody cares. Yeah, a we're all like we're all like shouting out to get oh, I wish that was oh, me with my yeah. teacher. Exactly. But when it's wrapped around, we're all like, oh, that's disgusting. Yeah. How dare you? Yeah. And how many comedians have made Michael Jackson jokes? How many comedians have made R. Kelly jokes? Same. And you know what? Uh, I was having this discussion with somebody yesterday and they was like, well, you know, it's different because there was kids in the actual video. But I'm like, well, you know, d depending on what you believe, there's actual victims in the Michael Jackson situation. But that's you know what I mean? Yeah, that's, what you, that's I don't know, that's the but, difference. Like, it's like, but, I don't know. It's just got to be funny, man. At the end of the day, it has to be funny. I don't think there's no way to make that funny. Uh, I, and, and I love comedy. I love people that push the limit. But... I don't think that clip. I don't think I don't care. There was nothing funny about that. That's sketch. what I'm saying. And, think... and it was and it was not funny because of the way they were joking about it. There's ways to make that funny. Yeah. But they were just doing the thing instead of alluding to it. So it's like if if the in that sketch if the pedophile is trying to control himself and the kid keeps saying things that would turn on a pedophile, but he's got to pretend like it doesn't turn him on. Yeah. There's the tension that creates funny. Yes. Yeah. Just rubbing baby oil on a kid's back or having him pump his super soaker or whatever like that. Like it just. And no, this I, is not I, how funny works. I get what you're saying, and Mouse is right too. You know, like Tiffany. To she, all Tiffany. Did. Tiffany called it unnecessary straight. Yeah. Because at the time she's an up and coming comedian. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean. Aries is just coming off Mad TV. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know, Aries is like, yo, I got a sketch. I'm working on some other things. Blah, blah, yep. blah. Why don't you come be a part of the sketch? She plays the, the, the kid's mother in the sketch. Not justifying it, not making it right, but I can see how something like that happens. Plus, man, the, 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 the question I'm constantly asking is, at some point, we all have to have a real conversation about old content, bro. Mm -hmm. Because we come from a different era yep. where a lot of things that shouldn't have been funny or shouldn't have been talked about or shouldn't have been made fun of, people used to. Right. And there was a point where if you weren't going far, you probably weren't going far. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's just the truth to the matter. Shock, value, everything was a thing. Whether it was Shock books, is okay. Shock is okay. When done right. I think, when oh, done right. Let's I, I, mean, okay, yeah, okay. I, I think shock is okay. I just think that like, for comedy, there has to be some like misdirection. There has to be some tension. And, and, and like that sketch just failed in doing that. So I think the sketch was more of a failure. I also think it didn't help the fact that like the allegations came first and then we saw the sketch. So we're watching the sketch and now you're pre you're, yeah, yeah, and yeah, you're yeah, filling yeah, in yeah. the holes. Yeah. They're basically where, like, yo, look at these pedophiles. Yeah. And here's the proof. Yeah. So now I'm watching this sketch going like, wait a minute, did he like putting the baby oil on the kid's back? Instead of watching yeah. it going, look at these hilarious comedians. Here's their sketch they made. Yeah. And then we go, ah, this wasn't funny. But like, I see what they were trying to do. Yeah, you which, which I mean? happens all the time. We look back at stuff now. Oh, with, I didn't see with, what they were trying to do, though. I mean, yeah. I, I guess to your point, because that's when you, when you look at the sketch, it just looks like, you know, they're just look, making but, fun of touching on kids. Like, yeah, there was, I guess what I would say yeah. is, like, in order to do a sketch like that, you got to be so far removed from wanting to do anything to a kid. Come on, now we. I'm not listening. Like, I don't like. I, we don't think that they're actual child molesters. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. you would never, if you actually were, you would never do a sketch like that because it outs you. Mm. Well, mm. I don't know. Dr Our drill Kelly rappers would beg the differing lyrics. <laughs> so, hey, uh, drill uh, rappers would beg the. <laughs> Hey, is that there's, a, there's a lot of drill uh, rappers that would beg the difference. I'm trying to give them the benefit of the doubt. I'm man. just saying. No, but I think what we're forgetting about this situation here is I don't think anyone would have paid it any mind if Ari Spears would have shut the fuck up about old girl. 
Oh, no, that's, shit. No, that's is not this true. What brought it out? Yes, no, that's that not happens true. all the time. Oh, wow. That's not true. That, that's that, not true. It, no one would have paid this any mind. That's not true. No, you, I'm going to tell you why nobody would have paid any mind. That's not true. Because they would have been like, who the fuck is Eric Spears? But, you but think, now he's in the line, he's in the spotlight no. for, di for dissing this woman who's minding her Bro, business. No, 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 Aries is like the B-side of this whole story. Like if Tiffany had, it, anybody that's a star like Tiffany and you get yeah. child molester next to you and somebody accusing you of that, it's going to be a story, bro. <laughs> like, you know, yeah. like that's what it is. Like it just, it just is what it so. is. I think so. Yes. Like she's the, she's the, she's the main draw in this. If, 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 if it was just Aries, it, it wouldn't be a story. If it was, Ti it, being that it's Tiffany and Aries, I didn't it's hear nothing deal. about this story until he said something about that girl. I understand. No. I, I, no, because I, but the person didn't file a lawsuit until after. I understand what it was weak. What do no, you mean? no, I understand what you're saying. Like, I think what you're saying is in order for it to become a story, you need an A-list celeb. Yeah. I get that. And Tiffany's that. But yeah. I agree with you, which is nobody's gonna go digging for it and trying to make Aries look bad if he doesn't say that about Lizzo. We see this all the time with no, cancel culture. No, 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 no. no, it's, no, it's, no. A, it's, a, it's a I get what you're saying, but this yeah. isn't that kind of situation because a woman filed a lawsuit. This isn't somebody on Twitter who found the old clip and said, hey, look at what Aries was doing. Oh, wait a minute. The lawsuit is separate? <laughs> yes, man. Wait, what? A whole other... <laughs> a, a, a woman that used to be Tiffany's friend filed a lawsuit against Aries and Tiffany Haddish. This has nothing to do with... About what? About the sketch. Those were her kids in the sketch. Oh, And she said I her kids they... are traumatized. Oh, by, by oh the well, that now it makes it even fucking weirder because did she you allow just, them to do this? Right, sketch? you just allow, you allowed your kids to do this. Oh no, this has been going on for a while. She's been she's been wait. So now she's been trying my, to get them for. A so while. now you prove my point. What? If this has been going on for a while and we just caught wind of it now, it's directly because Airy Spears no. ran his mouth. No, mouse. No, they, she, the woman filed a lawsuit. After the Lizzo situation, this has nothing to do with Lizzo. This, nah, was, this has been going on for the past few years. It had nothing to do with Lizzo. I'm saying the she public, just filed a lawsuit last week. I'm saying the public seeing it and this being this big array, it's directly affected to does no. Either way, it doesn't matter. It doesn't yeah. regardless. Regardless, she filed the lawsuit. Sure, referenced this video. People went to go look for the video, and she somebody put the video out with the lawsuit as well. They knew, mm. they, you know, what I mean, they knew what they was doing. But once again, man, I'm telling you. People were making these kind of jokes. Sarah Silverman, she tweeted one time, hey, is it considered molestation if the child makes the first move? I'm right. going to need a quick answer on this. She had to apologize for it years later. Right. But my point is and will always be for some reason, people used to make these kind of jokes. I think was it difference. ever acceptable? No. Oh, yeah. wild but wild. was it accepted? Yes. But it's much like we say about Twitter back in the day, right? It was the wild, wild, wild. Oh, my God. There were no boundaries. Oh, my God. We, no, I think we're creating yeah. civilization as we go. Oh, right? my God. So now we know what's allowed, what's not allowed, what's too far, what's not too far. And to whatever, however it works out for you, we acknowledge that we're going too far. Yeah. We, but do we? Back then. I'm going to tell, tell you what I mean by that. Do we acknowledge the actual issue or do if if it's somebody we don't like, then we go extra harder to act like in the, we're against whatever in real it is time? they did in real time. Because Ooh, it depends on that's the thing about being a fucking asshole, right? Like that's the thing about be like even I'll take me for example, right? Like even, you know, coming up in the shit and like knowing who I am and being like, all right, well, I'm not somebody who's always gonna agree with shit and I get a kick out of mm -hmm. my opinions. All right. If I'm that unlikable, I'm going to have to deal with some shit. Mm. Same thing with everybody here. We all have to deal with some level of bullshit yeah. because we're our 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 foundation is rooted in like the uncomfortability of it yeah. all. You get what I'm saying? But even if we did, mm. you, you, Miles is absolutely right. But even if we weren't those people, mm. we're successful. And when you're successful, they want to see you fall. It's going to come with a group of people who just want to see you fall. Yeah, it's really just that simple. Yeah, Five, like, but I think LeBron has a lot less people that want to see him fall than. Pat all of Beverly. us do, though. Proportionally. But, 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 oh, all of us do, though. Yeah. That's what we... I think sometimes we get caught up in, like, social media and yeah. we think that's the world and those people yeah. that are constantly telling you that... Good job, good job, good fuck job. Fuck you, you yeah. ain't shit. No, not good job. Uh -oh. other, fuck you, you ain't shit, blah, blah, blah. So you think, damn, nobody likes this individual. But, yo, everybody has more supporters than people who don't support them. Yeah, I agree. I just... I don't know. I think that the weird thing about it is like seeing an actual child do something sexual and knowing that an adult told them to do the sexual thing. And that, that to me makes it different than like just saying words. And and what you just said, Schultz, and, and, and maybe it's, a, it's different in the, the, the Tiffany Aries thing, 
Um, and you see how you can put Tiffany first, but I shouldn't have. It's different yeah. in the Aries Tiffany yeah. thing. Um, or it's different with a stand-up comedian because yeah. there's no checks and balances, right? right? There's no child with a stand-up. There's no child that <laughs> just a joke. is being told to do anything. Yeah. There's no child getting baby oil put on them. There's no child in a bathtub with you. There's no kid. So what about the movies? So what yeah. about the movies who depict these I, things? That, that's so one. Why, why does the talent... Checking, why, but, but why does two, the talent always get the fall? Why not the writers, the producers, the directors, because the production agree, company, the network that aired this shit? It. The person has to agree to it. What do you mean? Like, it's like what show everybody has to agree to it. Checks and balances. The parents, but bro. everybody has Them to agree to it. Kids can't do shit in the movies. So you got to sign consent sign forms. Off. That's what I'm saying. So the it's parents got signed the consent form. No, it's weird. So the person who's responsible for them is the parent. We don't got to tell all the stories, bro. That's another thing. It's like it's for the art. And it's like now I, don't need, I don't need yeah, that yeah, story. Yeah, now yeah. that's what yeah. I agree with. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, I don't yeah. need I've that story. With that. Yeah. I've agreed with that. Not just in that instance, but I mean, we've all said in the black community, it's like, yo, we don't need another slave movie, bro. We've we've had them, bro. I don't need. I, I don't need every story, bro. I don't need every... I think in regards to slavery, sure, we, like, overkilled it, but I think some stories should be told that way some things can be addressed because if you don't really depict things all the way through, like, to its core, we can't really learn from the mistakes. So being able to watch it, we can correct it and be like, ah, oh, that's well, That's why wrong. we have documentaries. That's yeah. why we, we can talk, like, what, yeah. we don't need the kid to... We know what molestation is. We don't need it acted out. I don't need to see a yeah, kid fucking you, scream and yeah, hold a mattress. You can fade to black. Yeah, like you just can, you say can see what happened. Like like you can like see, you can see the adult walk in the room and fade to black and kind of like... I also feel like that with adults too. I feel like that, like, we don't need to always see a woman getting raped. We don't, yeah, need, like, yeah. we don't need to see that. We don't need to see... Does it not hit the same in the documentary I mean, when I she's talking feel, about it? Like, you I, need a vi you need a visual? Like, like think about when I'm they see us. I'm not saying that the skit was good, but I'm saying in the sense of... we. I think we had this conversation not too long ago or was it with Jock? And he was like, you don't got to say the N-word to get your point oh, across. Oh, that was weird. Yeah, we like, talking about it, I mean, you kind of do. Jock was talking about the F-word. Oh. When Kendrick yes, said the F-word yeah. on... Uh, in that song, it was necessary. I, uh, well, that's where me and him disagreed. But no, yes. in that song, it was necessary. I agree. Because, and you know why? Because if you listen to that song... He's speaking from the aspect of a... Of a by somebody who didn't know any better. Exactly. By the end of the song, he's not saying it no more. He's saying the F-word. Yeah. To let y'all know, this what is how is I've grown, this is how I've uh, evolved. But back then, this is what we used to say. He even right. said it like a child. Right. He said it multiple times like with, with that little high-pitched yeah. voice. He yeah. said it as a child. But by the end, once he's learned and talked to people in that community, talked to his aunt who transitioned, and his, he's saying and the cousin. F word now. He had a cousin. He had That's a cousin great art. Transition. That's great art. I just feel like visually, we don't always got to see that shit, bro. I don't, I don't you. need it. Like when, I, I was talking, Would I was you be about cool it, with right. a white guy doing that same thing with the N-word? No. Uh, did depends. It, they did it on the Django. I mean, they've done yeah, it. Yeah, they do it in movies. No, you're right. No, they do it in period pieces. She's right. They do it in period pieces all the time. Toy. I'm not mad at that. No, but that's not. And by the way, that can get you can't. That's the that's the wild part, right? Yeah. If they wanted to, they could go back to Django if, and get Leonardo DiCaprio out the paint and couple that yo, with the fact he's like 25 year old and say he's isn't that a If they don't, this this is tricky. This is tricky one because you need to depict. Mark this, Alex. Just no, 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 no. The show says it's a trick. The show says it's a trick. Let's go, Let's you show gotta, You gotta have white people saying the N-word and being awful to black people if you're doing slavery movies because we're depicting how atrocious slavery is. If back in the day, white people are talking to black people like, hello, sir, would you mind putting that It's over not there? realistic. Or if, they, or if they're like Nobody's filtering. gonna believe it was what, that what, bad. What, what, or if they're filtering out the N-word. Where if it's like, you motherfucking piece of no, garbage. You don't like, yeah, no. And this is the other thing. Do you know how much of our culture we lose if we get rid of everything that was toxic and inappropriate? Oh, we lose. We definitely lose all our favorite rationals. We lose every movies, everything. I'm watching Juice over the weekend. I love Juice. Oh yeah, Juice and will I, get canceled. Absolutely. All my episodes are supposed gave, to be in high school. Smashing the nurse. Smashing Cindy from In Vogue, who was a, a nurse. Mm -hmm. Her husband's sitting there like, man, you're taking this Save the Children shit a little too far. <laughs> there's a point. The biggest that, hater. There's a point later in the movie where they start arguing, and she goes, I'm not one of your little high school friends. No shit. So now you're, <laughs> so now you're, so now you're, so now you're admitting that you know you have culpability. Like, come on. Or even the, the, like, remember, they got Beyonce and, and Lizzo over the Spaz thing. Them talking, the way they was talking about uh, Bishop's father. Added, Bishop. Bishop and... Tupac. Oh, yeah, Remember yeah, they yeah, calling yeah, him yeah, 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 His dad was schizophrenic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they was talking yeah, about him all yeah. crazy. They would, and by the way, they it packed him up for that. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, and, just, we would have lost That's right. Juice. And it's not just a hip-hop thing. It's an American culture thing. Yeah. American culture. Black, 
white. If you were in entertainment, it was wild. Every and I, culture. And I think collectively the industry from TV to yeah. movies to audio to comedy, everybody should just put out one mass statement and say, look, that was the you weren't a, you weren't here. Yeah, yeah. You weren't around for the 1990s and the early 2000s <laughs> yeah. and the 80s. And shit was wild. Yeah. It was the wild, wild west. Yeah. We know this. OK, yeah. but we've evolved. Everybody's evolved. Entertainment has evolved. We not on that no more. So if y'all find some old shit, regardless of what it is, I don't care if it's the comedians in blackface. I don't care no, no, if no, it's no, no, no. no, no. you got to stop. Because if you think that's fun, there was never a time where that's funny. What do you mean? Blackface. It was all from the time it was happening. Miles, people were saying Miles, this mm -hmm. shouldn't be happening. Miles, that's not true. Robert Downey Jr. That's not true. That's not in Tropic Thunder. That's, that's not true. Not funny. You had you had, you had late night. That was hosts. a good like, one, right? Exactly. Was, Jimmy Jimmy, Kim, Jimmy Kimmel painted his whole body brown to play Carl Malone. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> said anything. <laughs> uh, Jimmy Fallon yeah. put blackface on to pretend to be Chris, Chris Rock. Rock. Like, and that was on SNL. These were big time major and network hearing, shows. And I was a kid when that happened. And I was hearing people like, Nah, that shouldn't happen. He whether it's just you in never the heard house. That, well, I, I, I'm not saying you didn't. I, just, here, I never did. Here's the thing that people don't, here's a discussion people don't want to have because a lot of people are not, and myself included, not as well versed in what blackface actually was. Right. Like blackface, like painting white people up as the black Sambo character. Yes. And having them act in the most insulting mm -hmm. way and stereotypical mm -hmm. way to black people is different than just looking like yes. a person yes. who is famous. Now, mm -hmm. we've blended these things into the same thing, but they are separate. One is for the purpose of being racist. Yeah. The other is for the purpose of doing an impression. But it yes. all go, it almost Those goes are back, separate things. Yes, I agree. But it also goes back to what me and you said earlier, what we agreed upon was, we don't need every story. No, no, we don't I, need every. I, we I, didn't need no, no, Jimmy I, I, Kimmel. Well, do you, but, 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 do you real really, quick on that? Okay. Real quick on that. I think if like, like right now, we can't sit here and name a single blackface character or movie, right? Like, can you Out, outside of Robert Downey? No, no, no. I mean, talking back in the day. Oh, Sam. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sam. Um, Birth of a Nation, the the first Birth of a Nation, like. All those people were. But he good. means name the person name. Only, I don't even know. Sam you mean name the person name or name the movie? Yeah. Just like just like the character that was so offensive that like. Oh well, brother Nate. Well, so Sambo. going to what you said about the Sambo character. Well, Sambo, that's one. Sambo that, was a that was all right. That was yeah. That was an architect to be disrespectful. So that's one. But also the other function of of blackface back in back in those days, and Chris could probably speak on it um a little bit better than me. Uh, it was to make sure they didn't have to hire black people. Well, yeah, they just so they were painting up black people yeah. back in these black and white films. They just painting yeah. a white person. That's what, black. The, whole, that's what the whole minstrel show is about. So, I mean, I mean, but they so did, like that's two yeah. reasons why blackface no, is no, no, not no. okay. We're not we're not arguing why it's. We all agree it's not okay. Okay, right. What what I'm saying is like if we were really familiar with what these characters were and mm -hmm. how disrespectful they were, and no the purpose of them. Got gotcha. you. I think that we could probably differentiate between an impression of a famous person and just the straight disrespect right. of African-Americans. Yes. But, but can we fact, see where that line merges? But the fact that we're yeah. not as familiar, all of us are just not as familiar with these characters. Right. We just go, yo, why the fuck is this white person dressing up like a black person painting their face? Right. That's like that shit that they used to do that's disrespectful. Fuck this. And, and to be honest, it's not up to me to decide if it's right or wrong. Right. But... I think the more familiar we are with our past, we, we could at least go, there's levels to this and go, maybe Jimmy Fallon isn't as bad as the guy who was with Amos and Andy. Yeah. Was, yeah. And maybe it's, maybe it's not as bad. Maybe it's, that's not, that was made to make black people feel bad and laugh yeah. at them. Yeah. And this is made to make Carl Malone feel bad. Right. He should be made feel, to feel bad. Right. Like, and I think you still can make fun of him and you don't need the, the paint. Yeah. You know, and you can actually you can do the voice. You can 100%. do that. You could do the whole bit. And, and you know who gets just, to decide that? Black people. You yeah. guys get to decide yes. what the rule is because it's you. Oh no! Well, listen. If he wants to take the comedic risk, oh, I, do listen, your thing. Yeah, everybody can decide. Yeah, I guess you just got to deal with outrage that comes right. with it. it well, I guess what I'm saying is like each culture gets to decide like what they think is going too far, right? And where yes. the line is for them, and that's up to you guys. And then the people can take the Ooh, risk. That you guys sound. And I racist. think what we're trying to tell <laughs> is that you guys. We don't know. <laughs> But now we do. There was a time we did. There was no line, bro. Yes. yes. There just simply yes. wasn't. And yeah. everybody can sit around and act like that's not true. There, it absolutely is. The I agree truth. with you. There and was I think no that line. was my and that, major point. And that's, but that's also why I give so much grace because even when you say something like, nah, you can't forgive this person for blackface, whatever. It's like, bro, if they did that to us, 
If they no, did that, if, 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 no, if, if they, they did, did that to hip hop culture, but it's not. Oh. That's a false equivalency. No, it's not. Every time you said that to me, I no, said not. back to you, it's a false equivalency. I'm going to no, tell not. you why. Listen, I, can tell, get, I can tell you some things right now that some of your favorite rappers have said, which I won't. Because once again, if yeah, you want to cancel yeah, somebody, do your own yeah, fucking yeah, homework. Yeah, yeah, You'll be that. like, oh, shit. Because guess what? It goes against everything you said you care about. Mm-hmm. You just said you got to protect children. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? My point is, none of us... But when, <laughs> when it comes to content, no, when it comes so, to content, yes. are clean. Should be ab- are clean and should be above reproach. Repro- but when you flipped it, that's all, all I'm saying. I, I agree with you. No mm-hmm. one's above reproach. I didn't like the way you, you flipped it and you said if they did that to us. Oh, you mean if they did that to us on top of everything else that's been put on us? No, yeah, I'm, just talking, I'm just talking about from an entertainment content perspective. You, you, it's impo- you can't. It's, you can't. What do you mean? We, we, can't, we can't marginalize it, right? We can't isolate that and say like, oh, just in content. Even black people's voice being heard in the content space was a way harder fight than what... what but what, that's my point. So it's like, yo, this is what they do, right? They'll... It, two things happen in these situations. Black people hear old content from other black people and weaponize it against black people. Like people that they may not like, may not agree with, Definitely. and they use it against them. Definitely. And then white people use it as a way to be like, well, Told you so. I didn't want to fuck with them no way. Yes. We shouldn't have had them in here anyway. Right. So we're all cannibalizing each other. That's what all, the only point I'm making with all of this shit when it comes to old content is it's a circular firing squad, baby. I think and I guarantee I mean, you, if you've yeah. been around long enough, it's only a matter of time for you to get shot. I think it's yes. more like this. It's like there's a weapon that exists now and it can be used when you want. And we see this happen with That's different right. movements, right? We saw it happen with Me Too. It's like, oh, here's a new weapon. I don't like this guy. Mm-hmm. He didn't call me back. Me too. Me too, yeah. right? And And what we have to decide is if we want that weapon. And eventually what happens is what happens with like nuclear weapons now. I was just about to say, is it like Mutually nukes? assured destruction. So everyone if just- everybody got a nuke, now everybody behaves, <laughs> right? Hey, so hey, everyone's hey, just chilling right let now. Let me make y'all- oh, Guys, oh, guys are making sure we call say, women I back. just, I, I'll say this. I know somebody who went at somebody and that person's team said, you sure? Uh-uh. <laughs> Don't forget about this. Well, we'll I'll, I'll press the button on this today and <laughs> repost this and remind everybody of what you said. That person backtracked the next day. See? You know mutually what I'm saying? Assured that mutually, uh, and which, mutually assured destruction. That mutually assured destruction. I like that. That's where we're all headed if we continue to go down this path. And, 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 and I know people will say things like, oh, you know, Tiffany's your friend, so you're making excuses for her. No, I'm standing up for the content. Yeah. You know what I mean? Meaning that we all have some shit so you're saying that motherfuckers allow, could use against us. You're you know? saying because of the time, that content should be allowed to... It was fucked up. We can acknowledge okay. it was fucked up. But it it should have never happened. It, but it did happen. It was a failure. It was a failure. But there, it <laughs> but, was a failure. But even, but even some of our shit that slapped shouldn't have happened. Yeah, that's that's true. Sure. I just gave you two examples that we cut out. I don't know. Those are you didn't give big me, records. You didn't give me anything. <laughs> triple platinum, quadruple yeah. platinum. Yeah. We're talking about movies that we can all go back and watch that we all consider classics, but you watch it now, you like. But movies oh, are different shit. because there's a yeah. time stamp. There is a time stamp where you're able to say this. What do you mean? Uh-uh. Little rascal. He said little rascal. Steve said little What rascal. happened then? I never seen little rascal. Oh, you're talking about that. I'm like the one I grew up on. <laughs> It was pretty safe. I, uh, no, yeah. no, no, no. What Mouse is saying should be correct, but that's not the case. I think it's just like, I think movies is like, oh, timestamp. No, you can see this. But that's old. not the case. What you're saying should be correct, yeah. but it's not the case because we see it all the time. They take all of this old shit, even if it's timestamp, and still try to paint you with that brush today. Well, because I think it's a bit different because that's your. Well, maybe that's, comedy. Oh, go maybe that's the rule. It's like if you want to molest, like make a movie out of it. Ah. Yeah. All right. Oh, God. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, sorry, guys. Put some right. work in. You know? He's got, he's, but like, by the way, hire a director. By like, the way, Schultz has a point because I do not. I don't <laughs> right? know why. Why isn't Hollywood being held more accountable? You Hollywood, know what I mean? You can't hold Hollywood accountable. Hollywood because does they're whatever they want, by, bro. They're protected by the fact that the parent. I, said okay. Hollywood yeah. will have their, their time, I think. You their think? redemption? Yeah. No, what is no, it called? No, not their redemption. They're reckoning. <laughs> they're reckoning. They're reckoning. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, they won't. But I know I they won't. No, they won't. They will not. No, they it's won't. It's a billion no, dollar industry. No, no they won't. Uh, to a point that you are making, I think like, yeah, nukes is having like content against each other, but the real weapon is the tongue, like the power of the tongue. And then also, I don't think you guys should scrub everything off the internet because, again, it's like, how are you going to learn from the past? I agree with that. Like, if you watch, Except you guys watch Take Game of Thrones. <laughs> 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 now, do you watch Game of Thrones? The new yeah. season, and they cut the mom open. Like, the dad was like, 
this, I want the son, da da da, and then yeah. the son end up dying. But watching that and how gruesome it was, like this season is very gruesome. They're showing like the inside of people's guts when it dies. But it's like, even though, like, if you were to see that today, yeah, you know, you would automatically be like, yo, send this person to jail. But it's yeah. like this was real life. No, no, it no it's not. You know, it's a fiction. This it's a fiction. That, there's dragons. Yeah, there were no dragons. No, no, no. Obviously, no, no to the dragons. Are real, bro. Obviously, no to the dragons. Only but... Monk's Corner, right? Dragons aren't real? No. <laughs> no. Yo, Chris, you just gonna let them disrespect your home? Like, what's up, Chris? Chris. 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 Yo, what the fuck? I'm talking about the childbirth part. I'm talking about, like, the real stuff within it. You're talking about the brutality of childbirth back in the day. Yes. Yeah. I just want all of us, uh, when I'm just talking about strictly content. I ain't talking about shit else. Mm -hmm. Just give each other more grace, bro. Yes. Because all of us got some shit that could come back to haunt us the, at I any given moment. I think the scariest moment. part, or I think the part that people, with the ones that try with good intention, that's what I'll say. Because I do think there's evil people. I do think there's people that's looking for a moment and all of that. Mm -hmm. The people that are trying to be the gatekeepers or trying to be the, the, the first responders to that with good intentions, I think what scares them it's a lot easier to let a movie or a song go past, right? Because there's like this barrier of, of entry. Like I wasn't there when they recorded the song. This movie, it's lights, camera, action. You're depicting a character. Mm -hmm. It's different. What I think is different for like comedians or like podcasters. Like you're saying your thoughts. This is what you think on the inside. You've dealt with this as a comedian. It's like. Not really that, though. I, I just think that's Because it's what still entertainment. Separate. Like, so you're just saying things for entertainment. But you're not playing a character, right? It, it's a lot well, harder it, for it, somebody to... It's, oh, not, it's not a character. I just think that, like, we recognize what is funny is often naughty. Mm. It's often wrong and bad. Mm. And we recognize it. Right. And that's why we can make it. And that's why I'm sure Ari's and uh, Tiffany made the sketch. They're like, this is bad. And as a human being, we know what is right and moral, most of us. And we know what is wrong. Right. And then sometimes what's wrong is really funny. And that's why on this podcast, sometimes before we're about to say something funny, we laugh to ourselves because we go, I'm about to say some shit I know is wrong. Yeah. Right. But be, for whatever reason, it's funny. And comedy still exists to this day because we find humor in what is naughty and bad. We would have got rid of it thousands of years ago if we didn't still enjoy that's laughing right. with what's naughty. That's right. But the idea, I think what is lost is that we don't recognize that it's wrong. We understand that it's wrong. And when we're defending this, like, I know this isn't wrong. Like, I know Scottish people aren't the Africans of Europe. Right. But it's funny to be a little naughty and make these connections right. or whatever. So that's all we're it doing. It's not funny to me anymore. I thought you were serious. <laughs> it was funny when I believe. I thought you, I believed you. Talking, you know what? We're talking about now that I know you was trying to be funny, you I'm also disappointed. Thought Can you I be thought, honest? You also thought dragons were <laughs> real I, five I, minutes ago. I, <laughs> dragons are real. <laughs> <laughs> what are y'all talking about? <laughs> I'm going to be honest. You're going to hate this, but like, um, Santa Claus isn't real. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't think, I don't think, uh, I don't think black people are black. All right. Um, no, he's right about that. Wait, what do you mean? Good. He's right about that. I, I don't know what he means because black, black is a a label. Sure. S Scottish people are black. Okay. Well, I don't, All right. Scottish people are Scottish. I no, fucking, I no, they're white. Listen, no, bro. No, we can identify as anything. Not, are these people are dragons, bro. Uh, we are dragons. You're dragons, bro. <laughs> little, dra dragons. Little, little, little dragons. We are dragons, dude. Little dragons. We are dragons, dude. <laughs> I want to hear this, though. Why aren't black people black? Say again? I want to hear why, why. I didn't figure it out just yet. <laughs> <laughs> see what I'm saying? No. This entertainment. No. That's what no. I'm saying. You see what he did? Everybody on the edge of the AC, like, <laughs> yes. No, see? Schultz walked us down. Because remember, that's five, entertainment. Five minutes ago, he said that's But why. guess what? Somebody could take that one clip. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And just put that with no context, no nothing. Yeah. I don't they, think yo, black he, people are black. The magic. The, the, and then he's going to show Mouse and Charlemagne, like, look at them tap dance. Yeah. No, 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 exactly. It's literally going to show Charlemagne, oh, he's right. Exactly, he's right. I don't think black people are black. He's right. Like, Why oh. you look? Charlemagne had no idea where you were going. You're like, he's right. Tell me more. You know, listen, you talk about, when we talk about that Magic Johnson clip of Magic Johnson on Breakfast Club. Oh Somebody put God. that out, but they purposely cut the laughter. Oh, when, no, they cut him wrong. laughing. That's oh, which but that's is, my which point. Joke? That's wrong. You know bro. what I mean? <laughs> they cut him laughing yeah. just yeah. to make it seem like it's I'm just from Sacramento. No, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> but that's my point. People just know what they people know what they're doing, yo. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, moral do. of the story is just give everybody grace, man. Especially when it comes to old content. We didn't know no better. We really did. And we really did, bro. Yeah. Did we not? Yeah, I Bruh, don't know. There's, oh, you know there's episodes of Guy Code that they don't play no yeah, more? Yeah, I know. <laughs> the one about me 
Uh, hey! What are you God doing? God damn it. What are you doing? <laughs> There's other people at stake here, just bleep, Alex just bleeped out. I'm married. <laughs> but I'm but, married, bro. But listen, I'm <laughs> think about this, though. Think about this. I don't know. They that edit it from. now. I would rather but say it because it's not that crazy. But that means standards and practices, all the producers, directors, and writers, and everybody else just now realizing three years ago, like, oh, that's just. And they, slapped, didn't, they didn't do it because they felt like the joke was inappropriate. They it, did it because of the backlash. Exactly. The joke was funny. You <laughs> it goes back to what I said about Twitter. <laughs> it's. It, it's <laughs> Real life, but a lot of the reason why that's just not funny, bro. Slap. That's a, thank you. <laughs> Pretty good. Like your <laughs> bleep all of this. This bleep. This hey, bleep. Y'all gonna have to that, miss know, out. Yo, it sounds crazier now when we're because we it. have why because crazy, no no it wasn't. no it was oh, you... this oh, way got not... it wasn't crazy. Yeah, what? yeah. What, what's this yeah. way got shows? What's this way got this way got. <laughs> hey, hey, all jokes aside, all jokes aside, they really, and by the way, this is how you know that like media really programs you. I'm married, yo. But listen, I'm this, married. This is how you know television. Yo, why you keep doing this thing? Bleep, 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 bleep. But this is how you know, <laughs> this is how you know programming really impacts you. And if you think social media is really bleep, making people bleep, lose empathy, bleep, yes, bleep. right? Yes. Social media, people, social media is making people lose empathy, yeah. compassion, and yeah. it's desensitizing people. Yeah. Yep. That's how we were. When we started watching certain shit on TV and certain shit that they were showing us, that's why I we were desensitized to a I lot think, of shit. I think we were desensitized, but I also think that we had a better understanding of humor back then, which was yes. we said that's things true. on purpose to be uh, uh, inappropriate and funny and, and funny dark. That's right. And, like, and we, that's we right. did it knowing that it was wrong, for the purpose of being inappropriate, funny, and dark. Because there was no internet that desensitized us to what was. Right now, these kids have a desensitization. So TV did that for us, though. Well, no, I think no TV I and music. I think they're making it literal. I think they're making it literal right now. I think like yes. when you listen to like hmm. Eminem lyrics back in the day, there was we, a barrier. We knew that this was a cartoon. We're like, <laughs> he's not really doing these things. He's not lining kids up. What is that? I take seven kids from Columbine, you know, oh, put yeah, them all in yeah. line. Like you're not literally doing that. You're he's like. I'm going to be the worst human and say the worst things. Right. And I think that we applied that to a lot of like rap back in the day. We're like, yo, what is the craziest person? What would the you, craziest person do? Well, we were sure. all, I think it's a little different with Eminem and the rest of rap just because, damn, I don't want everything I say to be, oh, he's so racially motivated. But it's a little different because they already look at black people as like, I think hip hop this way. Hip hop it, avoids a lot. Put it of, this way. When you're deciding to like, take on the name of like a horrible dictator like Noriega, right? Okay. You're you're not doing it. Nori like, wasn't a Nori was a dictator? Noriega. The original yeah, Noriega? Yeah. 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 So he was a drug dealer. Well that goes hand in hand when you're in oh, uh, well, fucking, this country. Where was it? it Costa was like, Rica or some who, shit? Who, who, Nicaragua, Nicaragua, Nicaragua. Yeah. Whoa! Yeah, yeah. what well, you you said what? <laughs> what did you encourage? <laughs> uh, First it was you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then he was like, you know, forget it, niggas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> White people name that country for sure. Absolutely. You know, it was something else. Yeah, it, looked, it was just like, like, a map. Like, it was black people. Nicaragua. We're like, I got a better name. <laughs> He's like black people. Yeah. Nicaragua. <laughs> but but he chose the name because he's like, we love you, Nori. Yo, shout to Nori. Nori, one hundred percent. It's like, but the name is, here is this guy who's this powerful dictator. Everybody wanted to be the bad who guy. Did the, who did bad yeah. shit. Like, there are people who, what is it? Oh, I'm like, what is it? The, 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 I'm a band man. Something like the Taliban. I'm a uh, rubber band man. Fly, uh, fly like the Taliban. That's the yeah. T.I. He's rubber band man. Fly like the Taliban. Yeah. Fly like the Taliban. That was crazy. That's an insane thing. Well, but you're trying that's, a, that's a double on time. Why? No, he's saying really, he's, the plane no, no, no. But he's saying he's fly. But the plane crashed. But that I agree with that you. Was that was Al Qaeda, bro. I'm with you. But I'm just saying. The Taliban. He was just thinking of right? things that everybody can relate to. I mean, you can't say fly like a bird. But I, the Taliban can never fly. Furtado. Furtado. I mean, like, How did the Taliban and I don't even rhyme with rubber band. It worked for Nelly Furtado. What'd she say? I'm, I'm like, like a bird. bird. I want to fly away. I want to fly away, but she couldn't. That shit ain't like a human. Man, man, bro. No. But my point is, we're taking people. Wait, that why are, the Taliban really is dumb now? Now that I know it's a different terror cell that yep. did. Nah, but we thought it was Taliban. I thought the Taliban flew. And my stupid ass. Yeah. Look, my stupid ass. Sir, my stupid ass. You telling me the Taliban never flew? Yo, it's even if if they if he did say <laughs> that was a collab. <laughs> if he did say it because of nine eleven, it's even crazier. Oh, it's son. definitely why, why he said it. Why nine yeah. eleven? Like Ti could never say anything again. Well, I mean, rubber band. When was rubber band man released? It was after after nine eleven. Definitely after. It was 04, 05. 
it's fly always, like the Taliban? Like you want to be the people that on flew the planes Irvin, into the towers and to, killed thousands of people? To your point about that and the Eminem Columbine line. And by the way, I'm going to be honest. This is something that I just learned. We thought we were making, like even somebody like uh, when they used to make R. Kelly jokes, Michael Jackson jokes. Yeah. We thought we were making jokes about them. They were to us. But we forget there's people actually impacted. So when you say line up seven people from Columbine, there were people whose kids were actually killed in Columbine. So it actually people makes people actually what, died in 9-11. Absolutely. So yeah. it makes what Eminem and, and T.I. and those guys say even that more but they're insensitive. Not, now. But no, they're real not, quick. What this right, is like sorry. is I guess what I'm trying to say is I understand what they're trying to do, much like humor, which is I'm going to be something naughty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm going to be. I'm going to say the, I'm going to say the outlandish thought. Who's the worst guy? Who's yeah. the baddest guy? Who's yeah. the one that nobody wants to fuck yeah. with? Right. Who's the who's the guy that never backs down? Right. He's he, Noriega, this dictator. Uh, Taliban over here like the, I'm going to say I'm these people on purpose I'm going to be inflammatory on purpose Yo Gotti I, yeah, yeah, G- yeah, Gotti yeah, yeah, right yeah. I, I know who these people are and I'm going to mimic myself after them because I want to be the baddest guy out there but they're also aware that those guys are bad and that's why they're choosing to be them and that's the same thing with humor we yeah, know yeah. what we're doing is bad and we're choosing to do it for that reaction and then something shifted where everything we sent Said we meant, man. Megan, good because, because, no, listen, no, I, I agree. You, I agree with you, one hundred percent. I'm gonna tell you where Ma- that happened. Hold on, real quick. Hold Megan that. Good said something on uh, my talk show last season, and I thought she was. I was like, really? I, I I couldn't understand it, but she was basically saying she got to watch the roles that she plays because now. people were believing. People think that's really her, and I'm like, Bruh. are people well, really that stupid? Well, well, yes. no, well yes. programming, pro- programming. If you play that same role every time, no, tr- Danny Trejo, literally. Plays the same person in every movie. It's a book. You he know got a he book is. out of He's the Mexican dude with the beard who, that goes got like a this. fucking leather vest with this open. You can see the tattoo on his chest from Desperado. The bad guy. Super long hair. I know you don't plays the same role every every time. I believe that he's him. I'm though. gonna be honest with you. <laughs> three different people ran through my mind just now. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Emilio Estevan. <laughs> what? I saw Danny Trejo. You seen the you seen the you seen the white from the Breakfast Club? He's white. Emilio Estevez? No. Oh, he's like Sheen's half. brother, bro. Yeah, he's he's half and half. He's white, though. He's half and half. He's Mexican. White no. people, Mexicans can be I don't white, know if he's. I don't think he's Mexican. His last name is, es- his name is Emilio Estevez. I don't think that's Mexican. I think you're just He might to- be from that- Google with Emilio Nicaragua. Estevez. Nicaragua. <laughs> <laughs> Google, Google with Emilio. Google yeah. what Emilio Estevez is, Alex. Yeah. More of the stories, man, just give people grace, bro. Because God damn it, don't wait until it's your fucking fave. All right. <laughs> to stand up for, you know, what's right and give people grace. But also we got to teach people to be accountable. Right. I think if we teach, if we only teach one accountable half of Accountable for your jokes, accountable yeah. for a horror movie. Like, yeah, yeah everybody had to be accountable. What does that even mean? Man? All right. Hey, I'm a, like, that, like right. that's like a woke Twitter term when people say hold them accountable. Yeah. Oh, how, for how do you hold somebody? How do you hold somebody accountable I've for old saying, rap hold lyrics? Hold me accountable uh, for making you uh, laugh. old sketch. Like, hold me accountable for, hey, at this time. All accountability is saying. How about this? Hold you accountable for the sketch just not being funny. Like, I'm not going to hold them accountable for that sketch for as if they're they're molesters. I don't think that at no, all. No. I hold them accountable for this was this was grossly inappropriate. And, and it and, wasn't funny. And it then was what? Not funny, after bro. that, then what? I'm with you. Yeah. But after that, then what? That, once you stand accountable for that. Not, no. Yeah, not in this up. era. This era, they, they, I don't even know what they're looking for. No one, no one's <laughs> held accountable. But nobody is, nobody stands accountable. Yeah. What do you mean? No one says. Tiff, t- Tiff took accountability? What's accountability? What would you, you like them to you do? You saying, hey, you have to stand next to what you did. All we see now, or a majority of what we see is people saying, hey, this thing, that they're trying to hold you accountable, and you say, nah, fuck out of here, I'm rich. Nah, fuck out of here, I was back then. I nah, haven't seen that. I, all, I see, all I see all is people, t- all I see I see is people, people apologizing. apologizing. Yeah. That's all I see. After, they have, after people are telling you, hey, this is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong. You know why? Months of silence. nine times months out of, of ten, silence. people forget. Yeah. People be pulling up shit, and I'll be like, I don't even remember saying that shit, bro. Like, I don't. It's like, I don't be think we, we've moved on. Like, that shit was 10 also, years ago. Also, why should you, like, ago. bring up some shit you did in the past as horrible? Like, no, skip- if somebody brings it to you, I'm not saying, hey, look, guys, look at this. How many people got that? No, that defeats what you just said. Once somebody brings it to you, you have to stand accountable. And that's it, what they do. Once you say, I apologize, mm. that was wild. And listen, we, like, I feel like I, Tiffany Haddish. Who I have said from the beginning of this podcast, she did not deserve that. Yes. She did not deserve none of the heat she's getting. None of it. It should all be on Aries. But Tiffany Haddish stood accountable. This thing came out last week. By the end of the week, apology was up. Not even the week. By by the weekend. That's accountability. 
not not take somebody like the baby. You said what you said on that stage. You then doubled down on it. Then you tripled down on it. Then when your bottom line was affected, hey, y'all, I'm going to classes and I'm going to learn to be a better person. That's not accountability. Okay. So accountability is what yeah. Tiffany had. <laughs> okay. Because here's my just thing. Ask me what no, no, to no, do. I'm, I just told no, I'm with you. But here's my thing. If he doesn't feel like he did, <laughs> no, no, no. If he doesn't feel like he did okay. anything wrong, <laughs> listen, by the way, if he doesn't feel like he did anything wrong, that's on him. Yeah. That's on him. You don't like, I don't like performative apologies either. So it's just like, yo, if you apologize and it's sincere, Hey, salute to you. If you feel like you don't want to apologize, that's on you too. Mm -hmm. Like I don't, you know. But either way, I'm saying, what does that do for the people? Is what I'm saying. Like people want to oh, be. It's I, like it's like this court of public opinion wants to be jurors, judges, executioners, but they really can't do anything but yell and make noise. It's like, what do you want? Yeah, yeah. That's that's the problem. Is sometimes the noise does affect your bottom line, and then when it affects right. your bottom line, right you want to speak up because you care about your bottom line because that's your livelihood and that's okay. I just think that if we can get back to judging people by the intention, that's the it, intention man. of blackface that's it. was to ridicule that's it. black people. Yeah. The intention of their sketch was to ridicule molesters. Okay. So what so, if you pull up? But, a, but, but, okay. but, but even though it wasn't funny, yeah. the intention True. was still to ridicule the bad True. people. Right. Right. And I think we can look at things like that and make people laugh in the process. Now, I, I think the yeah. mistake you make at jokes like that, you should, if you're going to do it, just ridicule the person. You don't got to pretend to be the person. Yeah, get the don't have that out. Of there, bro. That's yeah. all I'm saying. Yeah. Just ridicule the person. Yeah. You know what I mean? But a lot, of, a lot of times we don't see that. There's a great comedian that we all know and love, has a fantastic Michael Jackson joke. You probably have laughed at it inappropriately, and it was in the last couple of years. But and, and, and what's crazy about that joke is he's making fun of the victims. Yes. He's making fun of the victims. Let's yeah. not get it fucked up. It's a, it's don't, a, don't look at the name Michael Jackson and say, oh, he's making fun no, of Michael. No, he's making fun of the victims. Talking about. You know what I'm goat talking about? Goat level joke. You said it's goat level. Goat level. But he's making fun of victims, Mouse. He's making fun of... He's making, we, he's making fun of in my, alleged in, victims. I don't want to say victims. Alleged listen, victims. That's what I'm saying. And I think that's what the joke is. I keep pointing. I'm, that's what I think the joke is. I think the joke is of the alleged... No. Of the victim. I think if this comedian we're talking about knew that they were actual victims, I don't know if he makes the same joke. I'd still laugh no matter what. That's true. But it, I don't right. know if he makes the same joke. And the fact that but the he victims are alleged, but that's it, what the... He, doesn't, he mentioned that in the but, joke. But he doesn't make the joke from an alleged perspective. He makes the joke from the perspective of this happened and y'all need to suck think it up. A, think it's a go, I think it's a go-level joke. We're all hypocrites. I'm mad. I'm mad I didn't think of it. Wow. We're all, <laughs> <I'm mad I laughs> We're all hypocrites is all I'm saying. That, I was sitting in that motherfucking crowd like, this is bad. Circular dude. firing squad, this bro. This motherfucker that's smart. That's circular firing squad. That's why I say be careful who you shoot the at because eventually is, you will get shot. And I thought Nicaragua was funny. The, the difference <laughs> is, does it make you <laughs> laugh? And that's at the end of the day. If it makes you laugh, if this sketch... And by the way, it might make you laugh and still be wrong. Yeah, but if it makes you laugh, there's a there's 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 redeeming quality. Yes, if it makes you laugh, there's a redeeming quality. If just you like, just make me feel uncomfortable, now I'm like, why'd you make me feel uncomfortable? I'm makes like, a valid point. Yeah, because it, yeah. then it goes back to what women have been telling us for years: wrong attention, right attention from the wrong guy. Oh, get away from me! That same attention or even less from the right guy. Oh, I'm hey, what up, bitch? Oh, right. I'm in love. And by the way, women been telling us this shit about our content for years, bro. Mm -hmm. like oh, literally. Oh, that's why I listen. Huh? Now listen. What do you mean? I just say things what they want me to say. This guy is I only so talk about crazy. what they want me to talk about. This guy is crazy. <laughs> Let's pay some bills, man. Uh, Blue Chew, fall is coming, so take the summer heat into the bedroom. That's right. This episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in chewable tablets and at a fraction of the cost. You can take them anytime, day or night, so you can plan ahead or be ready whenever an opportunity arises. The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com. Consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part, it's all done online. So no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA and prepared and shipped direct to your door in a discreet package. Okay, Schultz, you mess with the chew, right? Yo, you got to use the chew, man. Um, the, literally the best in the business. I'm telling you, your wife deserves it. Your girl deserves it. You got a side chick. Even she deserves it. Whoa. I think she deserves half as much as your wife. Black men don't cheat, bro. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, that's facts. That's facts. Well, but not facts. everybody here watching is black. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so shouts to y'all. Uh, shouts to Mormons and everybody else. <laughs> 
But Mormons can't drink coffee, but they could definitely chew it up. And you go to bluechew.com, okay? And you can get your first month free. All you got to do is make sure you use the uh, the the promo code IDIOTS with the S. Ain't that right? IDIOTS. So bluechew.com, use the promo code IDIOTS. You get the first month free. All you got to do is pay $5 shipping. Go there, deliver, and let's get back. Church announcements. What we got? Yes. Church announcements. Um, I ain't got shit. Jesus Christ, show. Yeah. Miles, what you got? Trap karaoke. Um, we're in Philadelphia yeah. Thursday. We're in Raleigh, North Carolina on Friday, and we are in New Orleans, uh, Louisiana on Saturday. Okay. Guys next door each and every Monday. Shout out to Mac Wild and Fly Rye. What up, Mac? What up, Fly and, Rye? Um, you know, the what? Hip Hop Question Legend List. Myself, Nala Simone, each and every Monday. That's all I got. That's right. Uh, mine is simple. Uh, October 8th. Well, first of all, uh, this week, new episode, a hell of a week. We're back after a two-week hiatus. Hey. Uh, we had to take the same break as the Daily Show. Today was off for two weeks. Trevor's back this week. We're back this week with a new episode, Thursday night, 1130 on Comedy Central. And um, the Mental Wealth Expo is October 8th here in New York City at the Marriott Marquis Times Square. It's my second annual Mental Wealth Expo. If you was there last year, you know it's a day of uh, mental health and healing education. I bring some of the best you know, mental health professionals to that space. Uh, this year we have, of course, my good sister, Debbie Brown. We have a hip hop and mental health panel that I'm excited about. Rhapsody is going to be on that one. Um, and we'll, we'll name the others uh, very shortly. My man Wallow and Shaka Sankor are coming together to have a conversation about the effects of the, the, the prison system on your mental health. We got Dr. Alfie Breland Noble going to be there. Uh, Nadra Tawab Glover, who's the author of Set Boundaries, Find Peace. Dr. Spirit is going to be there, just to name a few. And our keynote speakers are Pastor Torre Roberts and the great Sarah Jakes Roberts. They'll both uh, be there October 8th. And it's a free event. All you got to do is go to mentalwealthexpo.com come and uh, register to be there, RSVP to be there, and we'll see you on October the 8th. You don't uh, let me talk about nothing but rap. That is crazy. You said what? You only hired me to talk about rap. I what do you about, mean? I know about mental health. You talked about a book. Been, this I could have is... been, pan- been on one of those panels. You're, sil- um, you're silencing the youth. You're not really the youth no more, Mouse. You got, huh? you're not, <laughs> you can't. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> I'm the youngest person in the room. You can't, no, Taylor actually is in Nyla. I'm 33. And Nyla, Nyla's act, well, she's not in the room. I said in the room. You're not really the youth no more, Mouse. <laughs> How old are you, Mouse? <laughs> Telling me that I'm not the youth is nuts. How old are you? 33. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Golly, bro. The youth, man. Old, you. Yo, you got to get that. 37 years from 40, King. Yeah, like, who says that? Nah, you 40, bro. That. You're 40, That's some hating ass shit. Nah, you 40, bro. Yeah. What? You 40, bro. Get a real Gap hoodie, bro. Cut that shit out, dude. You, you like the Gap hoodie? Yeah, yeah, okay. Is it a real Gap hoodie? No. Yes, it is. Oh, man. Make, Dap hoodies now? Dapper Dan and Gap have a collaboration. Is you it? can't wear collab clothes no more. You 40 years old, bro. <laughs> My, hey. Go to Brooks Brothers or some shit. <laughs> Miles is young. Like By the way, Miles is younger than a lot of these guys because a lot of these guys be on these podcasts and just because you've had a podcast only for three years. Bro, you 40 plus. Yeah. All right? Stop talking to me like I'm the old guy. All right? Oh, they be coming to you like big bro? <laughs> yeah. Like, they be like, you, you, you got to move out the way and give us young guys space. Bro, you 42. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you a fuck that your podcast that's only three years old and cut it the fuck out what the fuck is you talking you about move out the way <laughs> hey, what the fuck space. move out the way and go where yeah. we both gonna be eating pancakes first and all, I hop at the same time first of all I never time. understood now radio I won't even get to that I've never understood that thought process when these niggas old young be like you gotta move out the way for the po-. in a podcast they can listen whenever, they, whenever want. they want they don't want to listen it's to you it's unbelievable yeah. it's unbelievable it's unbelievable uh, let's do some asking idiots, Taylor. What do you say? Taylor jealous. All right, hold on. Go, 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 ask, go. Idiot. ask idiot, ask idiot, idiot. So, ask idiot. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Jealous of. She was in Jamaica posting them thirst traps. People leaving her comments saying Charlemagne way thicker than you. <laughs> <laughs> I did see a few of those comments. Jealous. I did see that. Fuck. That was crazy. Jealous is fuck. I didn't even have a bikini on. I still look thicker than you. Yeah. <laughs> um. Was that a waste of a bikini? Steven Silver 95 said, would you rather have an athlete or engineer as a son-in-law? 
Depends how good they are at both. That's right. What kind of athlete we talking about? Yeah, I mean. You talk about, like, look, is he going to be Michael Jordan, LeBron James, Tom Brady? Of course I would want that to be Michael And if they're engineers, is it going to be Elon Musk? Yeah. I take that shit, too. It really it de- depends. Yeah, that's but a broad But a mediocre question. athlete or a mediocre engineer, I'm going to take mediocre, mediocre engineer. Every day. 100%. 100%. Me, too. I can explain my mediocre engineer way easier at the dinner table. Yeah. You don't even have to say he's be mediocre. like, hey, what's your son up to? Uh, he's, he's playing, playing basketball. He's playing overseas. Turkey. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. The thing about being a mediocre athlete, we know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no such thing as a mediocre engineer. You're just an yeah, engineer. Yeah, that's that's right. the goddamn dinner table. Just an engineer. Yeah. yeah. I just want him to be black. That's all I want. <laughs> um, for me. Anyway. Do you agree? You want your kid to be black? I want my son in law to be black. Your son in law. Oh, is yeah. that the question? Yeah, it says son in law. Oh, son in law. Oh. Yeah. What does oh. that mean? Son no, in law. That means we have, because me and Charlotte may have daughters. So. We're thinking. Oh, the person that your yeah, yeah. kid will marry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same, same ah. thing. Same thing. I still want the engineer. Yeah, I just yeah. want him to be. Oh, I, I have my no son, racial I, requirements for my son. I do. I do. I you do. do. I do. You got to be. Son. Whatever you bring. And I'm not house, debating with nobody about that. Talk to Dr. Uma. <laughs> All right. Take it up Legend. with Dr. Uma. <laughs> Uh, this is a. I just want my son in law to be Nicaraguan, dude. I really think it's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, uh, Or naughty. <laughs> See how fun it is to be naughty? You know what's going to be funny? In four years, Nicaraguan is going to be one of those words that white people can't say. <laughs> hey, where you four going? Years. Nicaragua. Over there. Oh, yeah. Over there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Throw down spend the weekend in N word. <laughs> Oh, that's even worse. That's worse. And land? I spent a lot of money in N-word. Um, <laughs> just Deontay Lamar said, if the Bible said it was okay to cheat, would you have sex with other women? The Bible? Your wife is the Bible. But. Exactly. I don't give a fuck about the Bible. Yeah. But the Bible, I don't cheat because the Bible tells me not to. Cheat because my wife tells me not to. <laughs> The hell? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Fuck. I don't yeah. think the Bible says don't cheat. I think the Bible, the Bible definitely says that. It does? Don't commit adultery. It's one of the well, adultery. adultery is different. Adultery is when you're married and you have sex with another That's person. That's not is what adultery. that shit mean, That's, Yeah, but if you marry you that person you have sex with, then it's not adultery. Adultery is when you But what about the person? If you have sex with the person while you're married to another person, that is adultery. But if you marry that other person, now After it's not you adultery. had to, but so you already why committed that, the Why that man called Wesley Snipes an adulterer before he shot him? Oh, because he was an old man. He's just saying things. <laughs> and we all know old and black men. Adulterer! Adulterer! Your soul belongs in hell. Your soul is required in hell. You know, ain't cheating that movie. He wasn't even married. What? All right. Okay, this is the last one. Who's 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 this from, Taylor? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> whoever said this, uh, life is all about learning and improving, right? Oftentimes, people could be uncomfortable next to people who've done questionable stuff. But the Bible says we are supposed to learn and forgive. Do you think God would forgive the devil if the devil were to repent somehow? Interesting. Mm, I think God has already forgiven him. He's already forgiven him. Mm. Because forgiveness isn't for the person. Forgiveness is for you. You relieve yourself of the debt. You relieve yourself of the burden of walking around angry and allowing someone to take up space. So I think God has already forgiven the devil. Hasn't worked for me yet. Me neither. It sounds good. I've forgiven him in front of my forgive? therapist. I've forgiven him in front of my spiritual leaders. Nothing works. Nothing I, th- I know how to forgive. I just refuse to forgive. How do, you, how do you forgive? I don't know. I've tried it a million times. It don't work. I'd be like... The forgiveness is as simple as saying no more. It's really a mind fuck. When they say forgive, what do they say? Forgive and forget? Yeah. But you can't. Or, or, you can't. It's impossible. As soon as you... you that's what but triggers that's another, are. That, that's another thing. And I, I don't even know what podcast you would discuss that on. Like people at some point were just saying words that just sounded good. Oh, forgive and forget. The loudest person in the room is the weakest. Uh, I don't ever want to be the smartest person in the room. Shut the fuck up. I just wrote about that. Shut the fuck up. I'm working on my new book. I literally just wrote about that. So when you talk about, so I do think you can forgive, but I think the only way to properly forgive is to never forget. So you don't end up in this situation again. Yeah. Mm. If I punch you in your face for no reason, you forgive me and you forget it. Well, you're going to drop your guard next you only, time I'll only forgive you if I can't beat you. You ever know what to say? <laughs> you don't got a choice. <laughs> yeah, Somebody funny. punch you in the face, you're only going to forgive them if you can't beat them. Yeah. Because if you let them punch you in the face, then clearly you didn't think you could beat them. Yeah, you have yeah, no yeah, choice but yeah, to yeah, forgive yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. No, I you think you got to scrap and then you could, be, you could be forgiven for punching me in my face. Yeah, if we fight. But I'm never yeah. going to forget that when, when I was sitting here minding my business, yeah. you snuffed me. Yeah. So every time you're in this, le- I'm, I'm watching you. Like, nah, I forgive you. I'm not holding against you. 
Yeah. But I'd be a damn fool to look this way every time you right here. I don't yeah. know if I forgive as much as I just simply don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck way more than I. Like, I just be like, I know, like you're done to me. Like, whatever. Like, bye. Yeah. Sayonara. Only, only people I don't look at as like a, a problem. Like, y'all know, like, there's a lot of people over the couple of years that have like been like, yeah, I already did the most egre- egregious thing to you. Right? Like, like, oh boy, that, that start that shit. I told him, I said, the next time I see you, I'm going to spit on you. Yeah. And the next time I seen him, I spat on him. You know what he did? Nothing. All right. I have to forgive you now. Ah. I, I, I left it alone because I can't keep chasing. Yeah. Hey, I mean, you did what you said you was going to do. I can't keep chasing an issue with somebody who don't now, want to Now, did you issue. spit on him for real or was it a Harry Styles nah, type like, spit? No, nah, like I, we was walking. Was it a Harry Styles, Chris I, Pine? I'll it you, may I, or may not have been spit. No, no. Or it was, was it like it was, a loogie loogie? It was a loogie. Like okay. we were walking. It was yellow. It was, nah, come on, I take care of my body. Take care of my body. That was nasal. <laughs> That's assault. <laughs> and depending where it landed, it's sexual assault. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't land on the leg. Whoa. It didn't land on the leg. This guy, mouth. Wow. This guy. This guy. This guy. Might be Adam- wow. I might be out of BC. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yo, you just spit on his crotch, bro. That shit is. <laughs> yo. Crazy, yo. That shit. Yo. You know how that reads in a paper? Yo. Mouse Jones is arrested for sexual assault because he spit on a man's crotch. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, Mouse? Jesus yeah, Christ. Mouse. That's why them holes in your ear so big, bro. <laughs> <laughs> listen, as always, if you listen to this podcast, <laughs> if you listen to this podcast, oh, yeah, tell them, that's it, everything, Mouse, right? Tell them where to find you. <laughs> oh, Mouse Jones. Mouse Jones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And definitely not in the ink blotter behind yeah. what Charlamagne said. <laughs> if you listen to this podcast, <laughs> you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, yeah, so you think we're brilliant. Right <laughs> but if you listen to this podcast, and you think we're just a couple idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. Peace.